Hey everyone, got another review for you today on this uh, Melita coffee maker, uh, which I bought recently. Um, I wanted to get a coffee maker because primarily when I'm working away, I tend to leave really early in the morning. And you know, uh, if you've watched my videos before, I do love my coffee and I usually do drip coffee. Um, but I find first thing in the morning, you don't want to spend sort of like 20 minutes prepping your coffee and kind of messing around. So I figured um, I'd get a coffee maker and I wanted something that had a timer on it so that I could set it in the morning um, and then get my coffee you know, quickly, uh, first thing in the morning, get it ready so I can just leave without having to mess around. And I kind of did a bit of research and I found that this one kind of fitted the bill really. So this is the Therma uh, Melita coffee maker. I'll put the, um, the actual model number in the description itself. Um, but um, what this came with is obviously the coffee maker itself. It comes with this kind of thermal flask rather than being heated at the base. You tend to find that the coffee makers that do that can kind of ruin your coffee, so you don't want to overheat the coffee. Uh, so this has got like a really nice, sturdy, uh, sort of thermal style um, coffee holder in it. Um, so yeah, really well built, nice and sturdy. And the actual machine itself is dead simple to use. So you've got your intensity selector at the top where you can choose how strong you want your coffee. And I always have mine left as strong, so I like my coffee being really strong. And then you've got this little area that opens up here and you put your paper filters in. You get, um, I think, five free with it. And then you have to buy other filters. It's just, they're really cheap, just paper filters. So I've got this one ready to go. Um, and then all you do in here, you've got your tank with your water in it. So you can have 15 really small cups or you can have 10 large cups. And what I do is I kind of fill the reservoir up to this kind of level here which makes enough um, for me to fill up one um, kind of flask of, of coffee. Um, it's also, I don't want it to be really weak, so um, you, kind of, you can fill this up to whatever you like, and obviously it'll switch off once it's done. Um, the timer is dead easy to use, so you can see at the moment, uh, I've just set the time on it, but you can just literally click through and it adjusts the time, so um, that's, that's dead simple to use. Um, the timer, again, is really easy to use, so if you want to set the time for a certain specific time, you literally hold the timer button down and then you adjust the clock, you can see it flashes, you can adjust the clock to set what time you want it to go off. So I'll obviously be at three in the morning if I left it at that and let go of the timer and then that will um, push, push, push the timer on and that will then set the timer for three in the morning. So um, press it again and then switch it off. So dead simple to use um, and also really handy if you have to happen to unplug it, uh, it doesn't take you forever to set it up again. Uh, it's no fiddling about. Um, it's got a cleaning option, so if you need to kind of decalcify the um, unit itself, uh, if you're in a hard water area, it's got an option to do that. I haven't used that yet because I've only had this fairly recently. Uh, and then obviously the power on and off button. Um, and that's it. It's really, really easy to use. And I've found so far this has been really cool. I wish I'd bought one of these ages ago actually because it just takes a lot of the hassle out, especially when you're in a hurry. I mean, I like the process of making coffee. Um, especially using you know standard um, uh, hand method of drip filter, but this is kind of the best option really if you're in a hurry and you just want something to be made and you want really good coffee. So um, it comes with a again pretty straightforward manual, but you can see from the what I've shown you, it's not a lot to it to be fair. Um, it's it's very very straightforward um, and simple to use, which is which is really good. So I'm just gonna I've just put some coffee in here now. I'll just switch it on so you can hear kind of the noise level of this coffee. It's pretty quiet, it's not, not too intrusive. Um, so I'll just switch it on now. So you can kind of hear the thermostat kick in and I won't obviously keep this on for a long time but just so you can hear it bubble up. And that's pretty much it. So that's the noise level. It's really, really quiet actually. So um, it does that and obviously it'll just drip your coffee through. Within a few minutes, this level will start to go down and then you'll have fresh coffee. Um, whenever you are, just a quick recommendation actually, if you are gonna buy something like this, um, make sure that you've got a decent coffee, well obviously decent coffee is one thing, but also make sure you've got a decent coffee grinder. So I use the Cuisine Art grinder uh, to grind my coffee prior to doing this process. So don't kind of leave your coffee in there for days. I tend to grind it the night before, stick the coffee in there and you're gonna get a really good cup of coffee. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, but other than that, um, 
please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, bye.